Okay guys, so next up, as you can see, we've got the Escura DS10. As you can see by the bow there, the DS10 logo there, and of course the key is absolutely phenomenal. Look at that, 10 pins. And it's actually orientated, we've got five on the top and five on the bottom. So definitely gonna be a very, very challenging uh, lock to pick. Um, in fact, I've never actually picked one like this before. Obviously it works absolutely flawlessly. And of course we've actually got, let's just get that out there, we've actually got a ball bearing on the side there which actually interacts with the side of the key there so lots of components to take into consideration so it's definitely going to make for a fun lock to pick i'll tell you what we'll do we'll get it in the vice and see what it's like to pick into it okay guys so the uh ds10 is in the vice there working absolutely flawlessly as you can see but of course once we've got it picked we will of course take it apart um, we're going to use this as a heavy tensioner um, and apply sort of I'd say relatively moderate tension. Um, I'm just gonna go in with the uh, flag from one of the multi-pick picks. Okay, so we're gonna start with the uh, top five and then work down to the bottom five and hopefully get the open. Okay, so nothing on one. Nice little click out of two. Nice little click out of three, four, five's binding and a click. Okay, it's just nothing on one. Nice little click out of two. Nothing on three. Four is fine. Slip under four to get to five. Five is fine. Number one's binding nice little click got a little bit of movement on the core that time i think the uh, top five are set work with the bottom ones nothing on one little click out of two three four and five one two things fine three Four is binding now. Nice little click out of four. And five. Coming back through, number three. Ah, see how much tension I was using there. <laughs> number three opened us up, so not too bad there at all. Tell you what we do, we take out the vice, get the uh, pin drove, and we'll see what's inside. Okay, let's just put that there. As you can see, we are well and truly open. So we'll just lock that back up to make it easier to take it apart. Let's just make sure you can see that. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll take this clip off. I'm a bit worried about this clip, actually. I um, don't quite know how we're going to get this open, but we'll see how it happens. We should just be able to... Ah, oh, look at that. Nice and straightforward. I thought that was going to be a bit of a nightmare. It says locking it back up again. That's good. Come on. That's good. Got that out there. disaster which is good um, the five bottom springs I will show you that you're in there um, but we don't need to take them out really it's just uh, these are what the uh, the interesting part of this lock is actually okay so the ball bearing goes in the side there you've got the little top pins there which will be orientated that way um, and then the bottom pins there and then the drivers, although they're all standard drivers, they do look to have a little taper on there. I don't know if you can just about see that, um, which is probably why I needed such heavy tension. And then these little uh, top cap pins, I call them cap pins just because they've got the little hollow in the actual uh, pin to take the, um, 
the spring because there's not enough room in the uh, top of the Bible or the bottom of the Bible. Oh, yeah, there's all the springs going out there. Yeah, yeah there's not enough room. Well, yeah, you can see you've got a lot thicker. Like a, there's probably like a separate ring in there, um, but everything on the top ones have to be compressed within that small space there. So of course that's where our problems lay, which is why you've got these small springs and these little cap pins. But all in all, a wonderful little lock and a real fun lock to uh, to pick. Um, so Talam pick my friend thank you very much for sending this and everything else you sent over to me I really did enjoy picking this lock um, listen guys hope you enjoyed that of course thanks for watching I'll catch up with you again very shortly take care guys